Gentlemen, Kevin Samuels, your Godfather style. In today's video, we talk about some of my favorite hard to get or rare fragrances. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, the Godfather of style. And guys, in today's video, I take you into my collection to talk about some of my favorite rare or hard to get fragrances. Fragrances that I'm really happy that I own, you're gonna wanna check these out. If you like this kind of video, cool, go ahead and subscribe. Drop that like down below. Shout out to the CIA, you confident, intelligent, assertive, modern, sexy savages. Guys, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I tell every man to focus on the three Fs, frames, fragrance, and footwear. But today we're gonna to talk about the all important fragrance. Yes, fragrance. Fragrance is actually the first sense that develops in a human, and it is the strongest scent tied to emotion and memories. Fragrance can evoke so many different things, and guys, do me a favor, just wear a fragrance every day for 30 days, don't skip, and watch what happens. You will see that you will get that all important attention. You'll get that all important compliment. You will see that people actually are paying attention to what you wear. Actually, when you smell good, people are actually happier to see you come around. And today I wanna to talk about fragrances for me that are just a little bit harder to get a hold of. Now, by no means am I telling you guys to go out and get these fragrances. And I'm not saying these are the most rare or the hardest fragrances to get a hold of. These are just a few that I have in my collection that I like to actually rock and wear. They happen to be rare or hard to find, and I dig them. You guys know I love rose, oud, and amber. I tend to like fragrances that are bolder, sweeter, richer, gourmand type things. You guys are going to dig this. Let's get started. Shout out to the CIA. Guys, if you want to become part of the movement, do me a favor, join us on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content that will only be visible there. Details down in the description. First up, we have Chimera. Chimera. Now, while Chimera may not be that hard to get a hold of, Many of you guys have not smelled this fragrance. Let me tell you, I'm going to do a full review or fragrance minute on each one of these because I think they're just exceptional. This sweet, rich fragrance is a compliment monster on my skin. I wanted to include this one in the list because of all of the fragrances. It's probably one that you can get your hands on a lot quicker, a lot sooner than many of the others on this list and with good reason. Chimera is a fantastic fragrance and want to start the list off right. Next up from Rosando Matu. Look, guys, I am terrible at pronunciation, but number five, a floral amber sensual musk fragrance was actually a pickup from a recommendation for someone I met on a fragrance group. I trust this person's nose right off the top, so when she told me to pick it up, I bought it. And I am so glad I did. As soon as I smelled this fragrance, it was going to be a keeper. And the thing is, this one is exceptionally hard to get a hold of because as soon as they hit the market, people take them. People take them, people grab them. If you ever have an opportunity to get number five in your collection, especially if you like ambers, you want to pick this one up. And even if you don't like it, I can tell you this, you won't have any problem getting rid of it. Number five is a fantastic floor amber sensual musk. Smells so good. Next up from the House of Armani, the Privé line, which is a massively underrated line in my opinion, we have none other than Incense Satin. Incense for me is one of those second tier notes that I absolutely dig. Incense, Patchouli, Iris, and Tonka, my secondary notes. This one was much more readily available a couple of years ago. If you can find a bottle of it, guys, get it, because I will tell you, especially when the temperature drops under 65 degrees, this is a fantastic fragrance. The top, it starts out a little bit more incense peppery, but as it cooks on my skin, the amber starts to round out. This one just gets better as the day goes on. Incense satin, <sighs> fantastic. Since we're in an incense mood, let's go to Tom Ford Sahara Noir. This fragrance has been discontinued for a while, pretty much considered to be a grail type fragrance on the Tom Ford line, especially if you love resinous amber kind of fragrances. A simple must have for so many reasons, for collector reasons, for incense reasons, for resinous reasons, rarity, and the stuff smells great. And the bottle's even dope. Tom does things right. Sahara Noir is no exception. 
Next up from the house of Louis Vuitton, we have Ombre Nomad. Guys, I've done a review on this masterpiece of a fragrance. It has entered my top five fragrances of all time for a good reason. I've said it then and I will say it again. Buy it. Just buy it. If you like Portrait of a Lady, New York Oud, Rose DRB, if you trust my nose, trust me, you will love this Rose Oud fragrance. Ah, it is hard to get a hold of and not every Louis Vuitton carries it. So you may not even be able to find a sample. Buy it, guys. Just buy it. Trust me. Keep it in your collection. Wear it on special occasions, date nights. Wear it on times when you need to feel like the man. This juice, fantastic. Check one of the cards up here for the full review on this masterpiece. Wow. Next up from the house of Bond number nine, we have none other than New Harlem. Sexy pancakes. I know a lot of people are bugging that they discontinued one of their best smelling fragrances of all times. Bond number nine, New Harlem, has always and will always be a fantastic gourmand fragrance. I call it sexy pancakes. Guys, I see some of the prices that people are asking for this. Yes, I would pay $300 for this bottle. I would, because I dig this fragrance so much. Now, I would not pay $350, $400, $450, anything exorbitant like that. Nope, nope, nope. But $300 for this bottle, if you like a nice, if you like a gourmand, that this is one of the best that's out there. And I know a lot of people talk about Michael Jordan, what is a legend or 23, you can say the Rokas man, look. There is a difference between them. The difference is night and day between any one of those. Sexy Pancakes stands in a class of its own and one of my favorite rare fragrances. As a side note guys, Bond also has a fragrance called Andy Warhol, the one with his face on it. Probably the best plum fragrance ever, probably one of the best plum fragrances ever made in perfumery. So wish they would actually get this one back. That stuff goes for a king's ransom. And sadly, I actually don't have my bottle anymore. I sold it to another collector. Hope you're happy with it. I still have a decant of it for my use, but on to the next. Next up, we're gonna start doing some twofers from the house, the slumber house. We have pear and olive and, and brossy. I don't know how to pronounce this one. All I know is this little joker right here, this 15 ml for $500 fan, Fantastic scent. I would not pay four or five hundred dollars for it for what I like, but I'm glad that I have it. Pear and olive, I will definitely be doing a full review on this one because this one is so, so special. This fragrance alone made me want to do this fragrance list. Actually, this fragrance line made me want to do this fragrance list because Slumber House makes some incredible fragrances that are really kind of short run, limited supply, really kind of grail-like fragrances. And I think they deserve more attention for collectors or for just fragrance heads. Don't break your bank trying to get these in your collection if you're just a casual everyday wearer. Maybe get a one ML sample of it just to kind of smell what's going on out there. But look, if you don't, but if you don't, you won't be killing yourself. This is a very sweet fragrance and this is a very bold fragrance, both of them incredible and I'm glad I have them in my collection. Next up from the house of Dior, we have none other than Santal Noir. I reviewed this fragrance before. I dig this peppery rose fragrance on so many levels. I'm not gonna belabor the point other than saying I'm glad I had this in my collection. I had to go through hell and high water to get it, but I'm glad I did. But the next one, the big boy of them all, Mitza. Yes, Mitza. Cult classic, up there with Vetiver and Eau Noir, but this one, my friends, this one, whoo-wee. It is hard to put into words what this fragrance is, and yet I got the big boy bottle. The big boy bottle, and I'm actually thinking about decanting some of it out to share with some of the fragrance fans out there. So if you're interested in possibly getting a decant of this, if I do, I'll put it in the fragrance group and I'll let you know, but this one, this one, I'm going to do a full review on this, but both of these things are so distinctive. No, Santal Royale does not smell like this. I mean, they're similar, but this is just, one is just head and shoulders above that one. And Mitza, 
Mensa is in a class of its own. Review on this one coming. I'm glad I have both of these in my collection for rarity for so many other reasons. Next up from the House of the Lobo, we have some of the city exclusives. I will be talking about the House of the Lobo more often, but right over here we have Poivre 23, the London city exclusive, and we have Bay Rose 26, the Chicago city exclusive. This is a pepper lover's dream. I can't get enough of this fragrance, especially during cool months. I will be reviewing this one on its own, but I will tell you right now, it is fantastic, especially when you're dressed up. It evokes London or how I would think London would be so well. But this one right here, Bay Rose, I have Rose 31, but this peppery rose blew my socks off. Well, I'm gonna tell you something about the line of La Lobo for me. I think they do so many things so right. I swear by their candles from my home and I dig the fragrances. I cannot wait until September next year comes. I am going to go broke. I'm gonna go broke buying all the city exclusives. There's gonna be so many of them that I'm going to get, but I really dig Amsterdam. If you have Amsterdam or Moscow, let me know. We can make something happen for either one of those. La Lobo fragrances, ah, oh, fragrance lover's dream. Two of these babies I am glad I have in my collection. All right, guys, that's it. Those are some of my favorite hard to get or rare fragrances that I like to have in my collection to rock and wear. Do me a favor, hit me up in the comment section. Let us know what are some of your favorite rare or hard to find, hard to get fragrances that you like to rock and wear. Inquiring minds want to know. Until next time, talk at you later. Godfather, out. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.